So Rachel Zegler is in the news. Rachel Zegler is in the news because she's fast becoming the new Brie Larson. She is taking over for Marvel and DC, or some Marvel, for, for Disney as the most unlikable woman in Hollywood ever to promote a movie, is she not? Yeah, it's truly a cultural milestone that Rachel Zegler has reached. Most annoying female lead mm -hmm. in all of history. This uh, Inside the Magic article says Rachel Zegler is officially Disney's new Brie Larson. And what's worse is she's younger than Brie Larson, so you know she's just got so many years ahead of her to continue antagonizing audiences. Uh, this tweet says, y'all swore up and down that we would never let the hate that Brie Larson got happen to another actress. And here we are again with you losers bashing Rachel Zegler for asking for fair pay and wanting to play Snow White as a more proactive heroine. I'm done. I've got this clip from Phil Labonte. He put, he yeah, there's this, this new early. clip of Rachel yep. Zegler from D23 where she called Prince Charming a stalker. Here we go. The original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. Story with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Super weird. Super weird. So we didn't do that this time. Mm. Cast a guy in the movie, <laughs> right. Andrew Burnap, great dude. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? She is the most unlikable woman I've ever seen in my life. Holy crap! It's, it's really Hollywood, bad. baby. Five <laughs> Tolly, baby. 18 hours in a dress of an iconic Disney princess. I deserve to be paid for every hour that it is streamed online. I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. <laughs> like, I'm being so serious. I watched it once. You know what it is? She has a Kamala Harris laugh. No, she has an AOC demeanor. She, she, she's but, definitely giving AOC. But she, she does the thing where she goes, <laughs> she has like the short bursts of laughter <laughs> that like escape her. But they're not, that's because they're not genuine laughs. Yeah, I know. She's a she's humorless unlikable. person. She's awful. I, uh, I'm going to get like Rachel Zegler derangement syndrome if I don't stop. Yeah. Uh, so I don't want that to happen. Neither of us want that to happen. Uh, she's also getting compared to Holly Bailey because uh, honestly, Holly Bailey had a way more diplomatic way oh, of yeah. handling Instantly. being in a live action adaptation, especially a such a highly politicized one and a race swapped version as well. Like, there were a lot of things to criticize about Snow White, uh, sorry, not Snow White, The Little Mermaid remake, but none of them involved Holly Bailey's personality or anything that she said while marketing the movie. Yeah. She was very diplomatic, very smart with her words, despite the fact that all of these media outlets just bombarded her with questions, leading questions all the time about, you know, talk about the racist hate you're getting for being black and playing Ariel. Like, she didn't make it any worse than it had to be, and it was already pretty bad. Yeah. But Rachel Zegler, like, we're not even in the stage where we know the release date for this no, movie yet. No, it's next spring. We're not, well, they're gonna, they're gonna push it. Yeah. And we're not even in the stage where the, the marketing push is happening, and it's already this bad. Like, what is the, the strategy here for Disney, putting this woman front and center in all of these interviews? Just shut her up. Yeah. Shut her up. Take her backstage. We don't need her to do all of this damage to the to the public image for she this is, movie. She it's is already actually, bad. She is actually um, worse than Brie Larson now at this point. Yeah. Because yeah. if you really look at the most annoying things that Brie Larson has said in interviews, it's not it's not actually nearly this bad. No. I don't think it is. The demeanor isn't that bad. She was like, more passive aggressive. Rachel Zegler is just doing fully like outwardly aggressive. aggressive. Yep. She's not even trying to hide it behind, like, sass. They're, like, trying to lose money, it feels like. It really does. Or they just don't care. Me when I'm in a losing money competition and my opponent is Disney? Yeah, dude. Like. <laughs> um, I see some articles defending Rachel Zegler now. This one from Glamour says, People attacking Rachel Zegler's Snow White in the name of feminism? Prove that women can't win. Can women ever just be congratulated for their efforts? Uh, <laughs> women are women in American society today are, are constantly congratulated for their efforts. Right. I, they're saying that like little girls should be taught in these movies that they can do whatever they want. What was, it, what, wait, you, what was the quote? What was the quote? If you want to be saved. You... Yeah. Yeah. This says, um, let me see. Thinking that. Or, no, no, no. What is it? 
Yeah, you can this is to be not saved. what we should teach our girls. We should teach our girls that you're able to have whatever it is you want. It's okay to want to be saved. It's okay to want Prince Charming. That in itself is feminism, in my opinion. Um, I agree that it's okay to aspire toward a, a love story. But do not teach your kids that they should be able to have whatever they want. Or That's they'll start why... dancing outside a Target and nobody will stop them. That's why young adults these days are thought of as entitled and immature and emotionally stunted is because they were raised with this ideology, yeah. with this message that you should just have whatever the hell you want and it's okay as long as it's your choice. Yeah. Like, I just don't understand how that's feminist. It's setting up women for failure. Um, also, uh, this, uh, on, a, on a macro level, it just doesn't get people excited. No. Nothing she's saying here would get anyone excited for anything. She's like, it's not a love story. It's a story about a woman becoming a leader. Yeah. Like, not all women want to be leaders. In fact, a very, very small, small minority yep. of women. I, I would argue a negligible amount of women genuinely aspire toward that and, and desire power and control. They don't. As much as the, the media is going to, uh, the media they consume as children and as adults is going to brainwash them to think that's what they want, it's not. And that's why these movies aren't going to do well. This article continued, uh, the, this is where it becomes clear that the messages have been confused and Disney fans are trolling Rachel Zegler for no reason. At no point has she said anyone shouldn't be saved or fall in love. She's saying this particular imagining of Snow White may not, and that's okay. But and it's we, not Snow White then! And don't we have enough Disney princesses we can watch if we want to see a woman swept off her feet and fall in love? There is no shortage of those. Yes, there is. There's absolutely a shortage of those now. All She's talking about all of the old mm. Disney princess movies. Mm. But, like, that's the point. Mm. Just make a new Disney princess if you want her to be a girl boss feminist. Why is it specifically the one that wasn't a girl boss in the original that you want to bastardize? All they Why have that to do one? Is no one would be complaining if this were a new movie, honestly. Yes. Well, no, maybe I would be. You but might be, but nobody else would care. Most people wouldn't care. Yeah. And now you're, you've not just pissed off the right wing influencers you have not just pissed off the the ben shapiro's and matt walsh's of the world who happen to make content talking about movies these days you're pissing off the apolitical disney fans you're pissing off the the young women and girls that you're trying to appeal to to get to watch this movie next year it's not gonna go well for you <laughs> if they're not pissed off because they're not feminists they're all feminists yep. They just rightly can judge that Rachel Zegler is not a fan of this story Why would and you wants want to it to be as far as possible away from the source as she can get it. Yeah. And she doesn't like the fans of the movie either. Like, that's where you're pissing off the, the Disney fans that you're trying to get to flock to this movie. There is a lot of derision and a lot of disdain in just that, in just like, like listen it's to this again. It's her smug, smarmy like, laugh. Listen to this again. The amount of derision and the, and the sarcasm and snark. It came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. Very evidently um, so. There's a big focus on her love story um, with a guy who literally stalks her. <laughs> yeah. Weird. Weird. Super weird. I didn't, so didn't I, by the way, I'm not a fan of the original Snow White. I'm not a fan of the original Disney princess movies. I was not allowed to watch them and I don't care about them at all. I the movie. But I'm just speaking on behalf of all the criticism that's coming from the actual fans. That's what they're saying. Um, I don't remember what her relationship with this Prince Charming was like, if he actually seemed like he was a stalker in the movie or not. But it sounds like an interpretation that Rachel Zegler is putting on it from her years of feminist indoctrination. There's a, there's I a, don't think that that's what everyone else thought of the movie when they saw it. And also she, you know that she is a born and raised leftist because she was named after Rachel from Friends. Like, you just know her parents have got to be, like, drinking the Kool-Aid fully. Like, she, they were f bottle-feeding her the Kool-Aid from a very young age. She was named after Rachel from Friends? Yes. Oh. Yeah. It's a bad sign. That's awful. If I ever saw one. Great, dude. All of Andrew's scenes could get cut. Who knows? It's Hollywood, baby. 
That's also just rude to your co-star, co-star right? Yeah. Who you should know on a fairly personal level by now <laughs> if you've been working together on a regular basis. It would so be weird. it would be like Mary if we were like it's like oh Mary could get cut from the podcast or no that's that's podcasting baby you know <laughs> that's, that's showbiz that's, baby that's insane I'm gonna so now. quirky of her Ugh. it's uh like the sh- the way she handled the way Halle Bailey handled the Little Mermaid was infinitely better she's and, just a literally yeah. a nicer person yeah and a less like irony poisoned person yeah less jaded less political entitled. Unbelievably Holly, Holly Bailey also like No, I'm saying Rachel Zegler, unbelievably yeah. entitled. Holly Bailey's movie, like it or not, I mean it wasn't great, but it made money. I don't think Snow White is on track to do that. Uh it should get pushed to Disney Plus is what it should be is what should happen to it. But that's not going or to Or just end up Batgirl happening. it. Yeah. Just give it the Batgirl treatment. Yeah, uh, and, and empty it altogether. It's really funny because then people were posting down here. They're say, they're saying the original fa- film made Disney what it is, what it ultimately became, its golden years. This remake will end Disney in its last dying years. And they're like showing dropping stock prices and everything like this. Look, I can't begin to care about Snow White as a property, but I can care about actors who don't seem to know how promotion for a movie and being diplomatic works, right? Mm -hmm. Like, it is kind of your job when you're being asked to lead a project of this big that you're you're now an ambassador and a caretaker for that character for it for the time being and that should embody a certain amount of class yeah in all in all that entails she just doesn't seem um media trained or i don't know like did anyone tell her yeah. what to say or not say or she just doesn't <laughs> at care. these events i mean she doesn't have a chance to correct course here now because of the strikes but i just sent you a video that says it's the real reason why rachel zegler gets hate okay and i'm just too curious not to to play it right now so here we go let's see what is the real reason why rachel zegler is getting speak the language does it matter this is about west side story oh yeah do you speak the language does it matter it's oh, loading. it's not loading. It's not loading. They must have deleted Do it. Latin oh. descent? Do you speak the language? I guess she was telling people that they don't deserve subtitles for oh, Spanish yeah. well, lines. Oh, that's, yeah. That's what... Uh, because you should just know Spanish by now. It's yeah. 2021. That's what, uh, that's what Steven then. Spielberg was saying that too, though. Lame. Yeah. Steven Spielberg said the same and thing. And Jenna Ortega as like a Gen Z trendy Latina actress is way more likable too. Oh, yeah. And if this movie were made in the 2010s, it should have been Selena Gomez playing Snow White if mm-hmm. they wanted a Latina actress that badly. Um, but I don't think that's what they wanted. I think they wanted someone sufficiently bracing. What if we found out later that they were going to do the dwarves, but Rachel Zegler was like, I don't want dwarves in my movie. Yeah, yeah. She's just a raging bigot. <laughs> she just really, really hates dwarves. She like starts throwing rocks at them. Yep. Thanks for watching. Listen to full episodes of Pop Culture Crisis on Spotify. Keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show. Bye, guys.